Right, I've cut the second shaft. If you can see that line there, that's the tight fitting of it. So I want to face the side of this shaft off so it's slack on that. So when I drill and tap the end and fit it onto the bearings in the traction engine, when you do the bolts up, you don't want it to be clamping it up so it won't turn. So I want a half a five to a five slack on there, bigger than that line. So I'll just get on and face that off. Perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll just drill and tap this. I'll just put a centre drill in first. just going to put this tap in there I've already put a tapered tap in there just going to clean the bottom of the hole out with the number three tap What I'm going to do now is put this back in the bearings on the traction engine, put the gears on each end and put the bolt in. So if I tighten up the bolt, this has still got to revolve in the bearings. If it's too tight, I'll have to remake it. Right, so I've done up the bolts tight. There's no sideways movement and it just turns lovely. If it ended up being a little bit tighter, I could just skim a little bit off of the outside side of the bearings, but that is perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll take this off, mark it out and cut the keys, keyways. Right, I've got this set up on the milling machine to do the four keys for the sliding gear. Being a small machine, I'm going to have to do the end ones later on holding the shaft in the, in the vise on here. But I'll get on and do these four, because then I'll use this to go 90 degrees, 180, 270. There we go. Oh, 
Well, it's the last cut on this one. Alright, just rinse this up. Rotate that 90 degrees. Well, that's 90 degrees. Don't worry about back down. one last cut on this one Just get on and cut the rest. All right, this is the last cut on the final keyway for the sliding gear. Right, there's the four keyways cut for the sliding gear. I've got some key material here that'll stick in there nice and tight fit in there when I come to do that right I'll just set up the vice on the milling machine now and do the keyway on each end now right I've just got the first keyway to cut lined up ready I'll just start doing this Last cut on this one. Right, I'll just turn that round and cut the other end. Right, that's all the keyways cut in the second shaft. Next thing I've got to do, cut four pieces of the key steel to put in these four here. So I'll just get on and do that. Well, you can see I've stuck the four keys in. Now the sliding gear. We need four keyways cutting it. That'll be the next job. I've already cut the keyways in the other gears, it's just the sliding gear I've got to do now. Right, I'm just going to cut the four keyways in the sliding gear. Just slowly push this uh, cutter through with a ram.
I just block this up on the wood. Raise that up and put me little finish pushing that one through. Right, that's the first one done. I'll just do the other three. Right, just about to finish pushing the brooch through on the fourth one. Right, that's that. See if it fits on the shaft. Right, as you can see, I've got the keyways cut in the sliding gear. The four keys on the second shaft. There we are. Nice sliding fit. A little bit of oil in there later on, that'll be nice. Right, what I've got to do now is cut the keys for the outer gears and we'll get it on the traction engine. Right, so here we've got the finished second shaft in place with the sliding gear. I mean, when I try and turn this gear here, it wants to go look. <laughs> right. Right, in the next video, we'll be having a look at the crankshaft. We're going to start marking this out. I've got to have three lots of centers. One center will be for the main shaft going straight the way through. And then there'll be a center for this crank. And then another center for this crank. All marked out on the end here. So you'll have that center there. One inch higher a center for that crank. And one inch over there for that crank. So that's what we'll be doing in the next video so please subscribe to my channel and join me as i build a two inch fowler's showman's traction engine